Hello, 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 everybody. This is Terry Lidge from CBD Talk Live. What's going up, you guys? What's going on? I hope you guys are enjoying your night. We're going to let some more people come on. I got five more minutes before I even start this live, guys. So we're going to get some people, gather your people up, tell them to come on over to CBD Talk Live. The link is right there, out there in front of you guys. If you guys don't know how to get over there, just press that link and get over here. We got a lot of good topics been going on, guys. You know, um, tonight we really touching something on mental health, guys. You know, I touched one the other day on PTSD, which we really call it PTS because everybody goes through that, right? So we're going to touch on mental health because a lot of people go on, go, go, uh, you know, have a lot of mental health issues. I'm not going to lie. I, everybody's got a little piece of a mental health issue out here. You know, I'm going to keep it real. I'm sure. And a lot of the research that I've done, yes, I could say, oh, man, maybe I, man, I got that. You know, I got that. It, you know, I got that a little bit, maybe. You know, you know, I got that OCD a little bit, y'all. So, hey, we gonna touch that tonight. But we gonna let a couple more people come on tonight, guys. And um, we gonna get ready. You know, we're talking about mental health, guys. Okay. Hope you guys enjoy the show. I'll be back. What's going on, guys? What's going on? We're coming up on uh, 8 eight o'clock hour, guys, and we're talking about mental health disorder tonight, guys. Mental health disorder, all right? We're talking about that tonight, guys. Coming upon that 8 o'clock hour, guys. Woo! I've had a okay day, guys. You know, my day's been up and down since yesterday, you know, but it's okay, you know, I've been okay, and the people around me, they gonna be okay, that's why I had to touch this subject tonight, you know what I'm saying, so we coming upon the 8 o'clock hour, we gonna give a few more minutes out here, CBD Talk Live, Terry Lidge out here. Been a hell of a day. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all days, guys, man. It's a real stuff, man. Real stuff, man. The real issues we talking about here on CBD Talk Live, you know? And we give you a solution right after that because, you know, 
what we got going. You know what I mean? We gonna give you a solution because it helps. Known facts, it's been helping people, okay? Eight o'clock hour, guys. CBD Talk Live. Terry here. Terry Lynch. Talking about mental health, guys. Who's with me? Anybody out there? Anybody out here want to hear about mental health disorder? Could be happening in your family. Could be happening to your neighbor. You just don't ever know. We're just going to talk about the most common types and some symptoms, you know, that go along with those types, you know? Something we need to all be watching out for. You know, because this is serious. It's a serious topic right here. And it's taking people's lives. Terry Lynch here. CBD Talk Live. Hope everybody's going, doing, and doing. <laughs> I love you guys. Nina, how you doing, Nina? How you doing, Nina? I can hang on for a few minutes before I really go on. What's going on, Nina? Glad you joined. We're talking about mental health. We're going to give it a few more minutes before we go in, you know, okay? A few more minutes before we go in. We'll give it to five after. We want some more people. Invite your friends, like, share, share this feed, you know, um, let people know part one. And, you know, some of the most common types of mental the so health disorder that we people going through and some of the symptoms you know we need to watch out for because you know it could be our neighbor it could be our family member you know we need to really keep in mind what's going on around us so we're going to give it a few more minutes and then we're going to start this live cbd talk live guys terry lynch here talking about mental health let me go grab a water i'll be right back doc Revis jr how you doing man glad you made it here man i know you're probably at work man but i'll be right back you're going to get me a water some water man keep that palette keep that palette right give it a couple more minutes guys going on uh, 804 p.m. Eastern time guys let's try to get share this post guys share this post let some people know you know CBD talk live Terry Lynch here we're talking about mental health disorder Part one, guys. We're going to talk about part one, okay? The most common types and the symptoms, okay? Some symptoms that go along with these types we're going to go through, all right? 
Let's give it a couple minutes. Like, share, and share it, share it, share it, guys. You know, somebody might need to hear this. All right? It's a touchy, touchy, touchy subject for me, especially within the last couple days. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a touchy situation for me. You know, um, if you if you haven't seen my other live, it was on PTSD, which we really call it PTS. Okay, everybody goes through that. And what we can recap, we can recap a little bit for some some other folks that haven't. You know, let's recap. Let's recap on what we did on on uh, the PTSD um, segment. We went through some of the signs uh, of that. You know, um, we went through the physical pain. We went through the nightmares, guys, the flashbacks that you go through PTSD. We went through the depression. We went through the anxiety, guys. We went through the withdrawal for kids and adults. We went through the segment where it was avoidance, you know, repression, hyper and arousal irritability guilt and shame and drugs prescribed in the anti antidepressants that you take okay guys that was a good segment if you didn't miss it if you missed it you need to go back in the cbd talk live and go check it out okay guys it was a good segment i'll be doing a part two on that one okay what drove me to doing this segment tonight, guys, is a friend of mine had called me last night, you know, with deep anxiety and, you know, wanting to, wanting to kill itself. Okay, I'm going to keep it real. Wanting to kill itself, you know. Um, I didn't know what to say, but don't do it, you know, right off the bat, you know, don't do it, you know, don't do it, Nancy, thanks, thanks for joining, thanks for joining, um, I was saying, don't do it, you know, over the phone, you know, this is uh, over the phone, don't do that, you know, what do you, you got a lot more to live for than anything, that's, that's my, because everybody has a lot to live for right guys everybody has a lot to live for and if it's a family member out there guys or or your next door neighbor you don't know what a person's going through with mental health okay guys um i talked to him the more and more i talked to him you know the more and more he was getting more anxious so my natural instinct was to go there, you know, go there and see him. Sure enough, you know, wasn't opening the door or that type of instance, you know, but I got the door open. Okay. I don't want to tell you the graphics, but he was still alive. Okay. There it goes where that, that PTS comes in. See what I'm saying? That PTS. I've seen people die. I've seen people hurt themselves. I've had people call me and tell me, Terry, come and get me. And I don't. And then when I don't, they die. So, yes, that PTS on me, I'm going to keep it real. Yes, it has effect on people. That's why we're talking about this tonight. Because maybe it can touch somebody out there, you know? So let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. Chris, Chris Waymer, glad you're here. Thank you. Um, we're going to get into it. Mental, mental health disorder, part one. Terry Lidge here, CBD Talk Live, guys. Okay, 
What is it? It's a condition that affects the mood, the thinking, and the behavior of people. Okay, guys? Remember, this is a mood, thinking, behavioral disorder. Some people don't have no control over this, guys. And it can be your neighbor. It can be your friend. You know? Okay? Let's talk about some of the most common types and the symptoms that we may go through. So what is some of the most common types, guys, out here that we know? Anybody know? Most common types, guys. We know, we all know some common types. Anybody out here? Susie, glad you joined, Susie. Glad you joined. Does anybody know any type of, of mental health disorder that's out here? Give it to me in the comments. Give it to me in the comments. Any mental health disorder that your family or your friend that you know of is going through right now give it to me in the comments guys nobody nobody's got anything depression that's right Chris that's one of them Chris yes that's one of them clinical depression clinical depression Anxiety, that's another one. Anxiety disorder, that's right. We're going to be touching about all those a little bit tonight, Chris. You know, if you know somebody, a family member maybe need to hear this, you know, you know, or or you just might not know what to look for when when people are dealing with mental health. Depression, yes. Susie, definitely. ADD. ADHD, definitely, Doc, definitely, definitely. Bipolar, definitely, definitely. That's another one. We're going to touch them all. We're going to touch them all. How about this one? Schizophrenia. How about that one? How about obsessive compulsion, guys? I get. I bet one of you guys are obsessive and compulsive out there, you know? You, you, you got that OCD out there going on. Because I know I do. See? You got to be real about it. You know? We're going to touch it all, guys. Clinical depression. You're right about it all. Okay, guys? You're right about it all, guys. This is, this is, this is, this is it. This is what we're covering. Clinical depression. Anxiety disorder. Bipolar disorder. Dementia, ADHD, schizophrenia, obsessive compulsive disorder. Okay. That's what we're covering. You guys got it right up in there. I love it. I love the feed. Love it. I love it. You guys, you guys are on it. You guys are on it. Somebody needs to know if it's not you, if it's not me more about it because it's serious guys when you see a, a person that you know crying out for help you guys gotta reach out man you guys gotta have that ear for people because people reaching out i told myself i'm not gonna let it man i'm not gonna let it happen again last time it happened to me a young lady she called me it was late at night, 2, 3 in the morning, maybe 1, 2, 3 in the morning. I'm sleeping, you know. Come out with me, please. No, it's too late. It's too late. You know, that's what I was saying to her. No, it's too late, you know. Then I get a phone call 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning saying that she's dead. Come identify her. You know what I'm saying? Come identify her. You know, guys, it's serious. It's a serious talk, man. 
Latasha. Comrade, thank you. Thank you for joining, Latasha. Thank you. But yes, it's serious when somebody's saying, crying out for help, but you don't really think they crying out for help, but they crying out for help for you to help them. What can you do? You know, what, you know, I blame myself for that. Maybe she did. She couldn't have died if I made it there. You know, if I would just listened and went like I did last night to someone, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's hard, you know, but we're going to go into clinical depression. That's our first topic, right? That's what I said, right? Clinical depression, the symptoms, clinical depression, guys. There's 3 million cases of clinical depression out here, guys. Okay? What is clinical depression, guys? It's the persistence of feeling um, um, sadness or loss of interest. It can range from behavioral to physical. It could include lack of sleep. Lack of appetite, energy levels, and, 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 and levels of concentration, guys. Okay? That's serious. It can also be associated with, uh, a, with thought of suicide, guys. That's clinical depression. You know, when, you know, just like I was saying last night. Thoughts of suicide. So that my friend, he, my, my acquaintance, I can't say he was my friend because it was just somebody I knew, you know, but I, I helped somebody that I knew out of a situation where they're not dead, should I say, you know, so they're, that they're all right, but still did I know that they were going through that clinical depression at that time. No. Did I know that they were going through a depression? Yes. Did I try to help them? Yes. But it just comes on sudden, you know, when that clinical depression sets in, you know. You know, some, some people just probably, you know, just can't take it anymore. You know, that's when that clinical, when you just don't know, you know. You know, um, has anybody had anybody in their lives that, that that's been dealing with clinical depression at all? Or maybe that you've known, maybe they need to hear this. Maybe they need to hear we got the ear for them. We feel their pain. We're going through it. We're learning it. We're going to learn people because it could be your neighbor, guys. It could be your neighbor. You don't know what a person's going through. All right? That's the deepness of this because people are going off the realms now and killing people you know we don't need people killing people guys we don't need we we can't control it yes but maybe we can have a, a say maybe we can have an ear to them people maybe we can you know like voice our opinions and help these people man and tell them that there's there's hope out there you know so let's be, let's keep on going let's keep on going with the Number two, we're going with the anxiety disorder, guys. Anxiety disorder, which is a mental health disorder. Feelings of worry, anxiety, you know, uh, uh, fear that's strong enough to, you know, um, mess with your daily activities, guys. You know, um your thoughts are so strong where it, it it it's enough to 
to mess with your daily activities, guys. You know, how do you know anybody that, that that's going through that anxiety disorder? You know, there's 200,000 cases out there of people with anxiety disorder, guys. It's deep. It's really deep, you know? Let's go on to number three, guys. Bipolar disorder. Everybody knows somebody that's got bipolar disorder. I do. I'm not. No, me. I don't. <laughs> I don't have bipolar. <laughs> no, but I do know people, guys. It's not funny because what happens with bipolar is it it, 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 it associates with their mood swings, you know, and it gets them in a depressive in, the, in their highs and their lows at times where you don't even know what the heck is going on with them. You're like, wow, man, you was cool one minute. Now you tripping. I keep it real. Now you tripping. See, that's that bipolar disorder where your highs and lows is up and down. See, I, I, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell y'all something so y'all can recognize people out there in the world that you're talking to, too. You, you can, you can tell in people, you got to be able to read people, you know what I'm saying? And, and see what's going on with them. See what's going on with them first, before you even open your mouth and talk about whatever you're going to talk about, you know, see what's going on with them. You know what I'm saying? That's that bipolar. And you know what? That's a lifelong thing that lasts for, with people. You know, it can last for years or it can last lifelong. You know, guys? Lifelong things, man. These these, these disorders I'm talking to you, they're, they're, they're not curable. A doctor can give you a, 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 a pill or, or something, but is it really curing you? No. It may help you at that moment, but is it really helping you? No, it's not really. Think about it. You know, extreme highs and lows. Yes. Yes, Latasha. Yes, definitely. Definitely. And when they get those highs and lows, you don't know where they're going. You know, one minute they can be fine. You know, they, hey, next thing you know, it'd be like, wow, my, 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 you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. I've been there. Watched it. Observed it. Yes. Observation is key into life. You have to know, look at a person and be able to see what a person needs or wants you have that there's that ear coming in again right guys that ear coming in let's keep it going on number four guys dementia and i know a lot of you guys parents probably going through dementia you know memory loss that's what that's a group of thinking and social symptoms that interfere with your daily functions you know, dementia loss. It's your thinking is just not right. That's where the old old folks, you know, we all gonna be there someday. I always say, once a man, twice a child, guys. Once a man, twice a child. Cause you go back to them to them ways of a child. Or you're thinking and your social symptoms is not on point, like and it and it messes with your daily functions when you like you're growing, you know what I'm saying? You're growing as a baby. You know what I'm saying? You, it, it, you have that dementia then. But then you grow out of it when you get older. But then when you get older, you may go back to that. You know what I'm saying? Once a man, twice a child. That's what I say. You know, and I know a lot of girl, older folks out there, your fathers, your mothers, 
dementia, you know, they, they have it. it. It's not their fault. It's not their blame. Take care of them because, you know, just take care of them. That's all you got to do, guys. You know, these are some of these topics that we all need to know because it's in our family somewhere. Somebody's suffering. Might be your next door neighbor. Talk to them. Tell them you love them. You know, talk to them. We're going to touch on number five now, guys, which is ADHD. ADHD is a active, it's a hypertensive active disorder, you know. <laughs> we all know them people. We all know them kids too, huh? They get them kids, huh? They got they my damn kids got ADHD. Huh? They they can't sit down for nothing, huh? Huh? It includes attention difficulties okay hyperactivity okay it cannot be cured okay it cannot be cured guys this is lifelong ADHD is lifelong guys it, it can't be cured you know when the kids you know they get overactive guys they get overactive get overexcited, get, you know, they just can't sit down, you know what I'm saying, you say, man, you got ADHD, man, they can't sit down, man, they, they just, man, you talk to them, and they, they just, I'm talking real life stuff, guys, because I witnessed it, and I've been there, that's why I can talk about it, you know, it hurts my heart, it touches my heart, but I can talk about it, because I, we got to spread the word, we got to watch out for people, man, this is crazy out here, man, we don't know what a person's going through. Right down to the kids, the children, the children. You know, them are our next generations that's coming up after we gone. So we got to, we got to touch somebody, all right? Touch somebody. And it don't just have to be the children. I see some grown folks with ADHD out here. Why they playing? You know what I mean? It's a chronic condition. You know, you can't. You can't. You, you just get hyper. You just. You know, your attention deficit is just thrown the frick off. You know what I mean? You can't pay attention to nothing. What you gonna take? A pill for that? No. We trying to stop you from that one. Right here, right now, we trying to stop you right here, right now on them prescription big pharmaceutical drugs, okay? But we're going to go into number six, guys. We went through ADHD. We're going into schizophrenia, you know? That's the ability for a person to think and feel and behave clearly, you know? They can't think. There's no ability for them to think and behave clearly when you have schizophrenia, guys. And there's 200,000 cases of schizophrenia, okay, here in America, okay? It could last for years. There's no cure for that, guys, either. All right, schizophrenia. How many of you guys know some, you know, you, you see a person be talking on the street like, me, 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 talking to themselves, right? They talking to themselves, right? That's that schizophrenia. It's like they don't hear nobody but whoever's in their minds, you know? They have no ability to think or behave clearly. Remember what I said, guys. Schizophrenia has no ability to think and behave clearly. And that's scary because when a person gets like that, 
you don't know what they're capable of doing. Okay? We don't know what they're capable of doing, guys. And it can last for years. You know, um, I don't say run from a schizophrenia person just because they, you know, it's their disorder. We can't run from people that is different from us, okay? We either got to find a solution or try to help that person in any way we can. I don't care if, you know what? <laughs> A schizophrenic person is not too schizophrenic to take a dollar from you to get a meal or whatever, guys. Okay, so it all depends on you. I'm not saying just go up to any schizophrenic people. I just been around people and I've observed and, you know, I should have done my own documentary on Miami when I was down in Miami. You know what I mean? There's a lot of a lot of different people down there, and I've experienced a lot down there in Miami, Florida. You know, um, guys, this is a serious condition, guys. Disorder, guys. Mental health is serious, guys. You know, we went over a whole bunch right now. We in the number seven right now, which is that. Obsessive compulsive disorder, guys. And I know there's 200,000 cases out here, you know, and it can't not be cured, guys. And it's lifelong. So if you got that OCD going on out there, guys, I know you do. I know you do. Keep it real out there. Y'all like to keep things excessive, excessive thoughts, obsessions. That lead to repetitive behavior. You know, you like things in place all the time. You know, those are the people that like them things in place. Oh, got it. Oh, Jesus. Did you move that? Oh, my God. Did you move that? That, you know, that OCD got to have it neat and clean, guys. I know it. you guys are holding back out there. I know some of you guys. I know I am sometimes. I got that OCD in me. They say I got that little bitch mode in me. <laughs> no, I just like things straight sometimes. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. We all got it. You know, like I said, we all going to touch some, some subjects that we got. You know, we got a little mental illness in us too, guys. Come on. A little bit of something. You know what I'm saying? You got to claim it. I got to claim it. You know what I mean? God gave it to me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we all got it. It's all good. I can claim it. Can anybody claim it out there? <laughs> Ain't nobody claim no mental health issues out there, huh? <laughs> Oh, come on now. It ain't that bad, y'all. It's what y'all thinking. I may sound, make it sound like it's bad, but it's not. You know, I just want to let you guys know the conditions and the symptoms that, you know, it could be your neighbor. It could, you don't know what a person's going through. Let's touch another one. A mental health issue. Autism. And I know a lot of people know people that have autism out here. You know, now I do too, you know, and it's a serious thing. It's something that you cannot ever, ever get back again once you have that. You know what I mean? Um, it cannot be cured, okay, guys? I don't care what kind of medicine you take. You can you can take what I'm about to tell you in the long, and at the end of this segment to, to help relieve some of the signs and, and the symptoms of it, maybe, um, but it'll never be cured, guys. And this is a serious development that uh, impairs the ability to communicate and interact. Okay? So, the ability... Could you imagine not having the ability to communicate or interact? It's hard, guys. You know? And it's not their fault. You know what I mean? So... Yes, that is a mental health issue that is out there. 
and there's again 200,000 cases of autism out there if not more okay and that's a serious thing where you know a lot of children are being affected and they're unable to communicate and interact with other children of their age or or anything so you know guys um serious man this is serious you know um can an autism child commit crime no i don't think an autistic child could commit a crime I don't think so. We're going to come back into part two on that one. Because we're going to come in back into... Uh, if anybody has ever committed a crime with autism. You know? And I think there is something out there. That's why I'm just going to stop it right there. And come back with that part two on that. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that on a later date. Let's go on not number nine. Which is that PTSD which we call it PTS, you know? Um, there's three million cases out there, guys. Three million cases of people that suffer with PTS, guys, okay? And that's a person that can't recover from experiencing, witnessing, or terrifying events. Remember I talked about that the other day, you know, PTS, you know, post-traumatic stress, you know, and we know a lot of people that's dealing with that, and when, and that, that could just, it doesn't just have to deal with military people, that can deal with anybody that's been through a traumatic event in their lives, guys, okay, okay, and that's, it's severe, yes, Nancy, yes, you have severe PTSD. You know what, Nancy, I think you are one remarkable person, and I don't think it's as, as severe as you think it is. You stick with us, I guarantee you, your severity level will be down way lower than you think it is, okay? You're a remarkable person. You are remarkable. Okay? You have a remarkable testimony. Everybody should hear it. You know, maybe one day we will we will we will spread the word out there and give that testimony out here live. You um I know. I know what you're going through and you know, um I can't feel your pain pain, but I feel your pain. You know what I mean? And I'm always, and my team members always have an ear, you know, if you ever need to talk to anybody, anybody out here. That's just not you, Nancy. That's everybody out here. We have that ear, okay? Let's talk about some of the medications, you know, guys. Some of the medications, most people that suffer and, 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 and. Most people that suffer with these conditions um, mostly deal with substance abuse right along with it, guys. You know, um, you know, a lot of drug abuse happens, you know, through 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 going through mental health because you know a doctor puts you on something that you don't know. You know, okay, doc. You know, I'll take it, you know, they're just taking it by will because they're hoping in, in the hopes that they, 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 it helps them. Did you hear me? In the hopes that it might help them. They're hoping when that doctor gives them that pill. It, hope, it helps them. It's craziness. I was like that. We're all, we all, we, we're all like that. We, we, believe me, we have pills in our medicine cabinets, guys. This is not no joke. 
This is, we have pills in our medicine cabinets. We all do. We're all blind to the fact that of the doctor giving us something. Is it really helping us? Is it really helping us? That's my question. Can anybody answer that? Is it really helping you? Has the pills helped you? Or has it made it worse? Tell the truth. Keep it real. We keep it real, CBD Talk Live. I don't hear nobody. Everybody's shy on it. Pills ain't never helped me. I know that much. Pills ain't never helped me. Maybe a headache. Maybe a headache. I don't even take that no more. I don't even take pills for a headache no more. Because you don't know what's going on in them pills. Somebody could slip something up in them pills just to be an asshole. And I said it. Sorry. Because there's people out there like that, doing that to people. You know? That's the disgusting part. You know? Okay, so these guy, these type of drugs out here, let's talk about them. Antipsychotic drugs that eliminates the voices in your head. Them antipsychotic drugs eliminate the noises in your head, huh? Huh? That's what they give you. Them antipsychotic drugs. Antipsychotic, nothing I want to take. Uh, I don't even care if I'm a little schizophrenic. I don't even want to take it. Sounds scary. Sounds like he's going to put you in another state where you're really psychotic. That's what it sounds like to me. Some of these drugs, you, these people giving, these doctors giving people, man, they just psychotic with themselves. They make them more crazier. Come on, man. Got to watch out for your surroundings around you. Watch out for the people around you. Always look at your people around you. You never know what they may be going through. Yes, they are the worst. Antidepressants. It's another one. Anti feeling, you know, it's the reduce of, of making a person feel sadness. You know, you want to reduce my sadness? No, if I want to cry, I want to cry. Why would I want to reduce that through a pill? I'm giving my, I'm giving, I hope I'm giving y'all some facts, man, because this is, this is serious, guys. Why would I want to do that to myself? Why would I want, oh, mood stabilizers. Why would I want to reduce my high and low moods? Listen, if I'm happy, Sometimes I do it, then I'll be down. Be like, don't mean I'm I'm depressed. It's just my mood down now. My mood can change if I hear somebody died. You know, I don't want nothing to stabilize my mood, guys. If I'm at a high, like, man, I'm happy, like, woo! If I'm like that, I don't want nothing to control my, you know, my high and my low like that. Don't want nothing. Mood stabilizers. Man, can't do it, guys. You probably know. Sleeping pills reduce anxiety and insomnia. I don't need a pill to make me go to sleep. I have tried them over-the-counter drug pills to make me go to sleep. They didn't really work, to tell you the truth. I'll tell you what made me go to sleep later on. We about to close this out, coming on 9 o'clock. But we might go a little past because I want to get y'all input. 
you know i want to get y'all feedback you know uh uh let me, stimulants that help you improve concentration hyperactivity and pulsiveness do you need a medicine that or do these people need this medicine like this no Look at 8 million people die each year due to mental health. 8 million people die each year due to mental health, guys. That's a lot of people. 800,000 of them people commit suicide, guys. It's a real talk. Real talk. Man, I know I've lost a lot of people, man, through suicide, overdose. I've lost a few people in overdose. You know, um, mental health is a serious issue. It's afflicting the whole world right now, really. Um, you see it, all these shootings and stuff, and people just going, going to bonkers, man. You know, mental health. You know, um, wow, it's deep, guys. Some It's a deep topic, guys. We're going to go, make sure you guys click this link, man. If you guys like this, man, if you guys like this segment, you know, click this link, man. Like, share, comment, you know, press, press, uh, press hashtag live. If you're watching live, press hashtag replay. If you're catching that replay, guys. You know, um, remember, each and every one of our people, man, our next door, are around us. They may be dealing with some mental health, guys. Our solution is pure CBD hemp oil that is GMP certified, guys. It is good manufactured practice. We are pet and cruelty free, and we are made in the USA, guys. If you guys want to know more, just check me out. Hit me in my inbox. You know, we're going to go into number two, you know, another day. I love you guys. It's a touchy subject. I hope it touched somebody out there and hope it opened up somebody's minds a little bit more to help somebody else that's out there. We love you all. From me, myself, Latasha Johnson, Doc Rivas Jr., and Michael J. Davis. We love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow night, guys. One love.